Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Soccer As We Like It, the Man United, direct on the channel for United and football fans globally. Right, let's get right into it. As you know, recently, Eric Ten Hag has been up, allegedly being told he has lost the dressing room by Caviar Cabar of Sky Sports, Simon Lockhurst of Manchester Evening News, uh, the guy from ESPN, the guy from The Mirror, they're all around the map, there's seven stories. And yesterday, there was a whole hurricane of can of worms was spilled that United fans were going crazy and doing this. and um, It was an absolute mess. Now, today, Eric Ten Hag has hit back. He came back smashing and hitting uppercuts, you know, ducking and diving, pump, 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 and told the, the journalists, you are now banned. Goodbye, good night. You're not coming back to my press conferences anymore. You see, the funny thing about this, these journalists, they will take these stories, not really, all right, who are your sources? Oh, I can't reveal my sources. Yeah, right, I'm sure you have. So I look at this, but while you're watching, smash a like on the video, drop your comments, and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. So as we can see, Aiden Hog has banned Four of these journalists, the Mirror journalists, ESPN, Sky Sports, and, and Manchester Evening News. Manchester Evening News were quite upset. Oh, this is a Mancunian newspaper. We supported this. We've always been a, a bit, we've always been in, in we, we were sub by, sub by, by Manchester United, blah, blah, blah. We even had the journalist who died in the Munich air disaster when the plane crashed. Really, mate? That, you know, we just want the fans. No, you are just. Begging because you have been caught. The fact of the matter is this. Back in the day, when you write newspapers, we don't argue because we don't have the opportunity to argue. Now there's social media. You don't need to listen to that bollocks. You just turn the shit off. It is that is. And we, it is what it is. So after they've been banned, Manchester Evening News are trying to like, you know, they don't know why they're being banned. Like they always want the best interest for man. I get the fuck out of it. So the problem here is this. These journalists, Run the mouth, make up the sources, say all the sources, blah, 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 and all that, blah, blah, blah. And come the next weekend, every 10 hog. So how are you United doing today? Who are you going to start? All oh, being polite. Then the club is not giving permission, you know, right? right Scandalised, dropping bombs and grenades, grenades, grenades all over the place and dividing the fan base even more further. Now, he said... You, 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 goodbye, good night, you're out of there. Do not come back till further notice. And it's Ferguson, once upon a night, he banned, he didn't speak to BBC for years. He, stopped, BBC, he don't speak to BBC, never. So it's not the first time United managers have said they're not speaking to certain journalists, but they're just tired of journalists spreading false rumours. But these people need these rumours to sell stories. Sky Sports... It's not a TV, it's not a newspaper. It's a national sports channel, globally known. To now say Eric Ten Hag has lost the dressing room, that the players don't like him because if they're playing too difficult and they train too hard and that the fans, the players don't like him because he's too strict, he's robotic. He's, it's a lot of absolute bollocks. And he's right to ban them because these journalists, they're like little hyenas. They keep biting and biting and biting and biting and still come back and smack. He, he, he. Eric, so what's the plan for next week? Mm. Then you now go to the laptop. Oh, he, he's an idiot. I'm going to make sure this. And they sell papers and they get the clicks and they bait them. It's all done, mate. It's done. But that's what Eric did. He came back swiping and swinging. Tomorrow's the big game against Chelsea. Can United beat Chelsea? You know, my heart says, with this United team, you don't even know what to expect from them. It's like a box of chocolates. You never know what's inside this box of chocolates. So, can they beat Chelsea on any given day? Yes. On a bed any given day? No. I don't know what to expect from this mixed bunch of confused clowns. I really don't know what to expect. Chelsea, are they playing well? Yes, they are. Not playing badly, mate. Yes, they got beat by Newcastle. But they're playing some good football. They have a style of play, at least. What I can see. 
It doesn't even matter. I was talking to Joe, the soul man. And he, I said, oh, it's, it's a home game. He said, it doesn't matter, home or away. It doesn't matter with United. United could play at home. They're still going to lose. Play away, they're going to lose. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. So there we are. He was saying um, uh, uh, that United are not even good enough to win a game at home. Not good enough to win a game from away. So they're just there. It's like on any given day, they'll just turn up. So we've got Chelsea, Bournemouth, Bayern Munich and Liverpool. Where do you see three points in that fixture? Bournemouth, probably. Chelsea, mm, not really. Bayern Munich, Liverpool, up. Uh, Liverpool beat us 7 0 last season. It could be eight this time or nine. I hope it's not. I will be devastated. I still haven't recovered from that bombardment and demolition and destruction and termination and obliteration. I'm still mentally scarred with that. But these players, oh no, they're not. They just move on, ease on down the road like nothing even happened. You see what I mean? That is why I say these players don't give a damn. They leave the game, drive into the night, Porsches and Ferrari, while we are constantly cursing at each other, blah, blah, blah. These guys have moved on, mate. They don't care. It's a job. You know what I mean? So, at this, cat, at this point, I'm happy what Ten Hag did. The club has banned those journalists who keep writing fake information about United and trying to scatter the, 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 the fan base. But tomorrow's a big game. Tomorrow we'll be having a post-match review. I'm trying to get my mate who's a Chelsea fan after the game. So we'll see, you know. So tune into the channel. Check us out. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and follow us. I'll see you guys on the next one. From me, it's goodbye and good night. As every time, as every ten high. Fires back. I'll see you soon.